if you took a Kindle and made it so you could write on it, kind of like a tablet. That's the Kindle Scribe. I've got it right here. And I'm gonna unbox this thing so we can see what's inside the box. <laughs> Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and this is pretty cool. If you haven't seen this yet, this is the Kindle Scribe, and it's essentially an e-reader, a Kindle, but it comes with a stylus or a pen, and you can write on the screen. It can save those notes. It can sync those notes with your phone. Really, really cool concept here. So I wanted to check this out. We're gonna take this to the table and see what's inside the box. Check it out. So there it is, the Kindle Scribe in this blue box, and really cool concept. If you've ever used an e-reader, an Amazon Kindle, for example, and thought to yourself, I wish I could take notes when I'm reading a book, or use it as a virtual notebook, a digital notebook, that's what this is. We've got the 32 gig model with the premium pen, so that's got a button on the side and a digital eraser on the back. You'll see that when we uh, pull that pen out. And on the back, world's first Kindle for reading and writing, enjoying a reading writing experience that feels like real paper on the glare free paper white display, use the battery free premium pen with its eraser and shortcut button to handwrite thoughts on sticky notes within millions of titles available in the Kindle store, and enjoy unlimited reading with a Kindle unlimited subscription. So 10.2 inch, 300 PPI display, adjustable warm light, millions of books, handwritten notes, import and markup PDF files, weeks of battery life, and of course, when it does die, you can charge it via USB-C. It includes Wi-Fi enabled Kindle Scribe. It's got the premium pen, the USB-C charging cable, the replacement tips, and the built-in rechargeable battery, all of which we will see in just a few seconds here when we unbox the Kindle Scribe. I'm gonna show you exactly what's inside that box. So again, back here on the front, that's a picture of the Kindle Scribe, and let's pull the tab off the back. This has become kind of Amazon's way of doing the packaging on so much packaging where you pull the tab, kind of like a FedEx box, right? You pull the tab, you rip it open, and then you get into the goods, which is what we want to do here. Flip the top, you've got a nice little arrow there telling you what to pull out. So we will pull that out. And there it is, look at that. The Kindle Scribe coming right out. Very nice, a few things tapped under the bottom. The screen already flashing at us. But that's it for what's inside the box. Nice job, Amazon, very minimal packaging. You pull the tab, everything you need comes right out and it just makes it easy, doesn't it? So uh, let's get to the scribe in a second, but first I wanna talk about what's in the bottom here. Look at this quote. I kept always two books in my pocket, one to read, one to write, from Robert Louis Stevenson. Cool little quote for Amazon to put on the uh, packaging there, you know, for their first Kindle that you can actually write on. So take a look at these. These are replacement tips for the uh, the premium pen. I'm assuming that's probably the same for the standard pen, but uh, these are replacement tips. You've got two things, that metal little circle there. That's the tool for removing the existing tip. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five replacement tips. So I'm not sure if the tips wear out. I'm not sure exactly why you'd need to replace them, but nice that Amazon includes five of those in the box. On the other side here, we've got the premium pen wrapped up in some uh, parchment paper here. The packaging feels nice. Amazon did a good job of minimal packaging, but still feeling like it's packaged properly. Then you've got a little button on the side, you've got the tip, and then look on the back here. That's the digital eraser I was talking about. And when I do the review of this, you'll be able to see more specifically how the button here on the side works, how the digital eraser on the back works. Uh, pretty cool though, and this premium pen is different than the standard pen, which is more of just a standard stylus without these additional things. There you go, the cool little Amazon logo on the back. There's that uh, virtual eraser, that digital eraser on the back again, which really is just sort of a button that you use when you press the eraser against the tablet. But uh, you'll see it works really well, works really cool. Um, so here we've got a pretty typical USB-C cable Nothing really special here, but uh, you know, Amazon not including the charging block as so many companies have stopped doing, but including the charging cable. So you can plug this into your computer if you've got to uh, you know, transfer data, but you can most importantly plug this into the wall when you're ready to charge up the Amazon Kindle Scribe. It does last weeks on a charge, so you shouldn't need this cable too much. And honestly, any USB-C cable will do. Most of us have a gazillion of them. So a little quick start guide stuck to the back here as you can see and uh, says hello Kindle scribe <laughs> on the front of it very simple I'll flip it over it talks about how to replace those tips see what I was talking about so see that metal ring step number one that's here I'll pick it up here that's the metal ring that you use to pull the tabs out and then step two just shows you how to insert that replacement tip 
into the uh, the premium pen. There's those tips again. Seems pretty simple, but uh, I could also see if you don't know what that ring's for, because my first reaction when I saw this metal ring, I thought, what the heck is this thing? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's for pulling the tips out of the pen itself. Okay, so there you go, a little quick start guide, pretty basic stuff here about how to get started, how to replace the tips, how to do the basic stuff here with the Amazon Kindle Scribe. I think for most people, a lot of the using the Scribe is going to be self-explanatory, especially if you've had a Kindle before, because the software, while it does have the notebook features in it, it's relatively the same as what you've seen on Kindles in the past. So a piece of protective paper here on the outside of the Scribe, and we will get this piece of uh, protective of paper off. There you go. Ever so carefully. And the Amazon logo on the back and then on the front, take a look. It does have a sensor, so it, I'm gonna flip it over here, but you'll see I'm a, I'm a lefty, so I actually like this little extra section on the right because I hold this with my right hand. Uh, for most people, if you're a righty, you'll probably use it in the opposite direction. But I like that they include that little chunk of extra space to hold it. And then see the sensor uh, tells the, uh, the Kindle which direction you're holding it in, so it flips the screen accordingly. There's the power button on the side. There's not much to this. You've got the power button and the uh, charging hole on the side there, the USB-C port, and that's it. The other sides are pretty much empty. And on the back, again, we have that Amazon Smile logo, and then these little tiny rubber feet. So this is when you put it down on a surface, this thing doesn't move, which actually makes a lot of sense for something that, yes, you'll hold it in your hand because it's a, an ebook, but it's a notebook, and you're gonna be setting this on a surface a lot, right? Because you're gonna write on it like a notebook sitting on your desktop. So it makes sense to have those little rubber feet. So there you go, you can see the screen is a touch screen as I'm kind of navigating through some of the basic menus here, setting up your region. I'm not gonna get too into the operation itself here because that's for a full review. I just wanted to show you what's inside the box of the new Amazon Kindle Scribe. So what do you wanna see? What do you guys wanna know about the Kindle Scribe? Comment below. If you wanna see a full review, we can do that as well. We've got a lot more coming up here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe to Tech It before you wreck it. Hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate having you along for the ride. I'm Kirk.